Hello, I'm here to talk to you about the saxophone. Um, this is an alto saxophone. Um, it comes from the family of saxophones, of which there are about eight, from very tiny to massive. And um, this is the, the alto sax is the one people normally start on um, before moving on to others, or maybe staying with alto saxophone. It's a beautiful instrument. It was invented in the middle of the 19th century, so it's about 160 years old at this point, maybe 170. Um, <clears throat> it's part of the woodwind family, and it makes a sound by causing a reed to vibrate on a mouthpiece. This is the reed. Um, it's a kind of a kind of a hard grass, and it makes a, a nice squeaky sound. And when we put on the saxophone. The squeaky sound gets deeper and a little bit smoother and nicer. Um, saxophone has a range of um, two and a half octaves. Um, some people play beyond. Um, but, uh, let's give you the basic uh, tour from the bottom to the top. A low B flat, which is lowest <coughs> lowest note on the instrument, up to a high F. Uh, used to be the highest note on the instrument. Some instruments now have an F sharp, and as I say, some people play much higher. Here's um, a little snippet from a tune called the Pink Panther, which I think most people know, and uh, it was written by Henry Mancini. Uh, it's a very short piece. <laughs> Many people, when they're starting to play, will, um, have certain tunes in the head. Um, a lot of people have come to me with the uh, solo from uh, the start of Careless Whisper by George Michael. Uh, it's a very nice piece. Um, it's possible to do um, exams on the saxophone or you can play purely for pleasure. I'm going to play you one more snippet and this is uh, the famous riff from Baker Street by Jerry Rafferty. <laughs> There we go. If you have any questions at all about the saxophone, how to play it, um, where to buy it, um, what makes models are good to buy for um, different categories of people, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll just leave you at the end of the Pink Panther. <laughs>